Hello, welcome back to Here's the Crack. We're back with another video. Today, we're going to be reacting to your funniest TikTok comments. Three funny skirting. I think there's supposed to be a comma there. Poor students is what I get from this. I'm assuming more the three funny skirting. I thought Gurnan was a facial expression you made. Look at the state of you lot. Are you just out of bed? And the comment down below that says, looks like you three are just out of bed. <laughs> Maybe we should just cut the shit and do the podcast from our bed next time. The three of us lie up in the same bed and chat away. Comment below if you'd like to see that. I can see where he's coming from. I think me and Ross would be partial to a bit of bedhead. But you know, Shay gets his hair cut like once a week so can't fall Shay there. Need to just up our game. Oh, out of all the ring pieces in the Holy Lands, you are shingling out Nolan, helping highlight the madness in Belfast. I don't know if this is intentional, but this guy's name is Ian. Dot U. Dot S. Ian U. S. Ian S. Maybe this is a current joke for his uh, platform. He just goes around commenting people's videos, um, butthole jokes. I, I, can't, I can't believe people actually think like. Nolan's some sort of like caped crusader who's going around saving Belfast here. Like. He's going on as if he's saving the world when all he's doing is being controversial and following people around with camera. Like. Mr. Shuck Slapper says, Where's the crack? Haven't smelled once. Oh, that comment hits deep. That comment hits deep. Well, that's all. Can't bring your granny around to the house, but you can bring her to the hot field. I, I 100% agree. If your granny is obviously keen for a mad one, uh, then you're short it. I'm just imagining Mr. Turlock sitting up in the hot field with the old granny up at the bar, laying up the red diesels by. If you're taking your granny to the hot field, you need to make sure she's in the right attire. You need to make sure she's wearing a GA half sip or GA skinny tracksuit bottoms. On some sort of running shoes or are you just not allowed in would you like your parents living in the holy lands i wouldn't think so all he was doing was showing people what it's like in the holy lands with students imagine living with your parents in the holy lands you head off to uni in the morning then you get back around five o'clock or so you arrive home to find your man and dad sitting on the couch out the front of your house drinking a bottle of breakfast right so here's now one from big brian galloway in 1957 why's up you lot if it was not going on he would not be there you lot are like wee babies if you went round in daylight you'd be all in bed we pay massive fees to just lie in bed all day and um, you know so that that that's basically our lives and um, but thanks um when students go to university is good to get a degree so they can get a better job and make more money but say that entails a bit of work maybe not it doesn't all it's not all just lying in bed you know so what he's saying here is if this wasn't going on, Nolan wouldn't be there. Obviously not. He'd be sitting in his car licking a packet of potato, cheese and onion. I was cycling down a country road with my dad, and he was going about 80 miles per hour in his big Mercedes, and he ran us over. I'll tell you who wasn't cycling though. Mr. Nolan. Steven, 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 you naughty, naughty boy. You know, you'd think Nolan being as perfect as he is would be like driving something a bit more environmentally friendly than a Mercedes. A Tesla, or a Prius, or something like Nolan, exposed. Spotlight, BBC, here's the crack. Maybe Nolan should go visit you guys in your studio with three of you never wearing masks. Well, first of all, I'm flattered that you think my kitchen is a studio, like, just because there's a TV in it. Could you imagine listening to a podcast if the three of us were wearing masks? <laughs> yep, we've been caught. Like... I, I'm sorry that we're the only people in the whole of uh, UK and Ireland that were um, that were not abiding by the rules. We normal people in Ireland, you're, you're spelled you are, our next professionals get a big grip, you're lettering, spelled L-E-T-R-I-N-G, your family's down, yeah so learn how to spell. Yeah, maybe learn how to spell um, or construct a sentence would be handy for next time. Uh, but yeah, here, keep trying. Uh, at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Like, 
you see you want if you're gonna try and slag someone in the comments like spelling it wrong just completely takes it all takes the whole thing away from it like even if you are commenting the funniest comment if it's not spelled right or it's like like she's not just like trying to be funny she's like a proper sentence here like, and she's spelled like half it wrong like it just takes away from the whole thing so basically this one was commented this well or this user whoever it is sorry Ive goes sorry Karen because she just sounds like an absolute Karen just because we're standing up from students who Nolan of BSC has basically just made try to make an absolute dex out of she is saying we've let her families down and then she goes you're not from Belfast go back to Stranba Stranba like she's literally spelt it S-T-R-I-N-B-E Stranba I and I replied strong but words that she obviously means Straban like she just looks like an absolute box here with these comments absolute knob chip1690 says burn out the oil lamps short and sweet but yeah obviously like Northern Ireland person or someone in Northern Irish just the same as that to burn something will just fix everything. Just saying. Seriously, wise up. Kill your grandparents. See, this kids, that's why we stay at school. Because what you will learn throughout life is adding a little comma into your sentence can really, uh, it can really help, uh, it can really help switch things up, or if you don't use one, as this uh, user 63578 has uh, really displayed, is that um, it can sound quite um, sadistic. Um, and then goes, wise up, kill your grandparents, no comma. So it's just, just, he's just straight up just being like, he or she is just straight up being like, kill your grandparents because of COVID. Just kill them, you know, kill them before COVID gets them. Like, just go kill them, and then you don't have to worry about COVID just the jail sentence I'll not be killing anybody's grandparents but uh, here um, look yeah this guy took a little bit of time to think this one out hey guys just a heads up you're missing the W from where in your title keep up the good work so for anyone who didn't get that he means where's the crack insinuating that where's shit crack wow Sir Toss. could he be any more sarcastic I don't think so. Can't please everyone. Oh well. Yeah, guys, so that was our TikTok reactions video. If you enjoyed us, let us know in the comments. Give it a like. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed if you're watching the videos. 